Hey, what's up, everybody? Here's another water comparison video. Tonight we're comparing these two waters. First up is Arctic Soul Natural Spring Water. Next up is Cure High pH, 9.5 pH water. So we're going to start off by doing a pH test. There's a dropper. Just do a little bit more. A little bit more. I love doing the tests when it says the number on the bottle, so you can find out if they're lying or not. The Arctic Soul one does not advertise a pH level. So I'm colorblind, but I want you guys to decide for yourself which pH level does it match up with. It looks pretty accurate to me. It looks about a 9, I think. But what do you guys think? All right, so Cure has a 9.5 pH level, it says, and this was $1.69. This was from the store The Fresh Market, and this says that it's infused with ion minerals, and it's infused with calcium, potassium, magnesium, and zinc, and it says it has a smooth taste. Arctic Soul is a natural spring water. I don't remember how much I paid for this. But I think it was about $3, which is, $3 is a lot for a spring water. But it, I paid that much because I got this from an airport. I had a layover, I think it was in Atlanta. And, um, yeah, just some random store there had this. And they always overprice for stuff at an airport. So I think it was about $3, but I lost the receipt. And this is from Jackson, Colorado. It's a natural spring water, and the company is Apso Pure Water Company, and this has 2% of your daily calcium need. And an interesting thing about this is it says bottle, in the front of the bottle it says bottle made from recycled bottles. In, you know, kind of big font, sort of. like It's like there so you can see that it says it's made from recycled bottles. Then if you look on the back of the bottle, in really small font, it says um, that it's only 10% recycled. <laughs> so it's, it, it is made from recycled bottles, but only 10%. So these both seem like good good waters. This is like a thick bottle. You know, it's got the full-size lid. So let's just open it up and do a taste test comparison. No smell to this one. Oh, that's not that good. Yeah, that's not good. Um, like a strong, strong plasticky taste. Not, not the worst I've ever had, but it's not that good at all. Okay, let's try the Cure water. I guess the thing that these two have in common is they both have misspelled words. Like, it's not... Or it's not C-U-R-E, it's Q-U-R-E. And this is S-O-L instead of S-O-U-L. Yeah. Um, so, I'm just going to call it now. The Cure Water tastes better. This one is winning. This one is moving on to the next round. Um, just tastes a lot better than this one. This one has like a strong plasticky taste. I'm a little surprised by it because like it has a really thick, you know, bottle. It seems feels good quality. Um, but I think when you sell water at an airport, it doesn't really matter what it tastes like. Because there's no competition. There's no other choices. People kind of have to buy just whatever's available. So maybe this is just a water that they got as cheaply as possible just to maximize profits. And like, as soon as people buy this, most of them are going to get on an airplane right away. So it's not like they're going to come back for a, a refund or anything or complain about it. Like, they just have no choice. They have to buy this water. Good. 
Like, if I wasn't doing the video, I probably wouldn't even finish this. It just doesn't taste good. And, like, the, the taste... This is going to sound weird. The taste is not really on your tongue. It's like a bad taste in the back of your throat. Like, I don't know. Maybe I have, like, taste buds in the back of my throat, but... It tastes, like, really plasticky. I, I finished this so I can just clean out my mouth with the, the cure water. Alright, that's it. Thanks for watching, everyone. Have a nice day.